is that that particular ingredient would be introduced into this dish. And if you ever tasted something that a chef has put together and you've had that before, but the way that this particular chef did, there was something else that they added, and when you added that one unexpected ingredient, it just made the flavor count. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody get hungry already? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? If you taste it, and it's like, oh, now I've had this dish before, but it never tasted like this. Well, what happened was, they evidently took an ingredient that other people were aware of that they wouldn't expect or consider to be a part of this recipe, and when they brought it into the recipe, it brought a combination of flavors that just, oh, we call it the lesson. We call it, you know, it's just, oh, well, we call it, mm. <laughs> right? It's just, it makes your taste buds just light up. And your eyes get big, whoa. And that's what Jesus is doing here. He's been teaching us for eight verses about abiding in him, and abiding in that is very much fruit. And all of a sudden, he introduces an ingredient that's not really a secret. Everyone's heard of love. But I bet most people don't consider that when you're talking about your life being fruitful and successful in the kingdom of God, that this is a determining factor. In other words, Jesus is now going to talk to us about love in a way that tells us that if you try to get the results and the fruitfulness in your life and you're not walking in the love of the kingdom and the grace of the kingdom and the dignity of the kingdom, he said, that lack of love or deficiency of love is 